Wouldn't recommend going out there. People around. Please come back, Mr. Birdie! Here, Birdie Bird! You kids need some help. What? Mommy said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? You charging kids now? You can pick up their tab. Well, what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie's a bird friend of ours? His head is all pointy. Kinda like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Who's that? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert! What? But well, we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old bird houses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Don't you worry. We'll get those bird traps ready in no time, won't we? All right then. Let's go find our bird buddy. He'll definitely be happy to see you. At least somebody will be. I understand there's no making amends for how I did these people wrong, but I want to help. I need to help. What happened with the reactor wasn't your fault, you know. I could have told you that. No, I ain't the one who proposed building the damn thing. That was Shinra. Just hitched my wagon to it. Right. Took a while to accept that, though. Hell, I did everything in my power to avoid thinking about it at all. Eventually, I realized the excuses I was clinging to weren't making me feel any better. What happened in Corral, that's my burden to bear. <laughs> Just don't go breaking your back. Yeah, well, it's stronger than you think. I won't pretend it's all for the kids. End of the day, I'm doing this for me.
And I guess Shinra was all I had to think about. It's cause I didn't want to think about anything else. Saving the planet's important, but I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner. And I shouldn't have. I knew the office help give me that clarity. Just wish I could have got it sooner.
amor. Keep it together. 
were scared, Junior. Thought you were gonna wind up Monster Child. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? But go straight home, you hear me? Chirpy's Hey, mister, he's back! Clark Jr. came back! Huh. Of course he did. When we found him, we said, your friends are looking for you. You head straight home. <laughs> no wonder! Thank you so much! Hey, just doing a job. Eat up! Someday you're gonna be big and strong and scare away all the monsters! Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. Uh, you sure that's a good idea? I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. Up. My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Sorry. That's so. <laughs> well, don't want to get you in trouble. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care of Cloud Jr. Thanks again for all your help, mister! Don't mention it. What are you looking at? If you got something to say, then spit it out. Just know that I'm such a badass that even Beck and his bitches couldn't handle me. Kick me out of their stupid little gang. That's right. You're standing face to face with the legendary Biff. You shaking in your boots yet? Oh. Uh, tough guy, huh? Respect. But it seems to me like we got no choice but to settle this with a game of Queen's Blood. And if I whoop your ass, you gotta give me three, no, seven whole gill!
I bailed from the bandit life because I just couldn't hack it. So I... I figured I'd turn over a new leaf and become a Queen's Blood player instead, but... 
Turns out I'm no good at that, neither. You gotta tell me. What's the trick, man? How do I get your kind of skills? What, don't like handing out free advice or something? Only a real cheapskate would charge for that shit, asshole. Well, better hang on to that gill of yours, cause next time we meet, I'm gonna take seven off you for sure. What are you, chicken? Hell yeah, that's what I like to say. The lunch as we got is mine as well. Oh, don't mind Rob here. He's just a bit worked up is all. Wait, do you play Queen's Blood? Rolf gets really excited whenever he senses a skilled player nearby. You may find this hard to believe, but he's the world's only canine competitor. And he's pretty good, too. <laughs> he's saying he wants to go around with you. Well, you game?
loser. But you got to admit, he's pretty good, right? Amazing, even. Rolf is actually scheduled to make his television debut. They're doing a special on animals who can play Queen's Blood. And once we get famous, we can finally kiss this town goodbye. We got this. Right, Rolf? <laughs>
<laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined. I've been missing out. First, I'm in a great place to look at fun down, you know. So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but but also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the scutty bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight, and I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. 